Hello, everybody. This is Danny Brown. Welcome to English 1A class. Today is day five. Now, next week, uh, we have a midterm test. Oh, it's coming. And I'm going to help you with that today. But first of all, let me do a little bit of review to help you to be ready for the test and make sure you remember what we've been learning. And while I'm getting that ready, um, make sure that you have finished your quiz. Today, you have a day five quiz. You must have that quiz finished very soon. Uh, I suggest if you didn't do that quiz, stop this video, do the quiz, turn it into Danny by Google Classroom now, and then watch this quiz. All right, let me see if I can share my first review here. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna review past progressive. Now in Japanese, past progressive is kako shinko ke. All right. Um, <clears throat> we studied this last week. We only use past progressive two times. Uh, one, when we talk about time at three o'clock or during the party. And two, when one event happens for a long time and suddenly a short event happens. Now, some of you in your homework in the past, you were using the past progressive wrong. So, and so you cannot just use the past progressive for anything in the past. You have to be careful to use these two times. Okay, for example, number one, we only use this a little when we talk about one certain time. What were you doing at three o'clock yesterday? I, that means I called you at three o'clock and I don't know what you were doing. At three o'clock, I was watching television. <clears throat> okay, so this is a, an example. Now we can use three o'clock. We can also say during the party. What were you doing during the party? Because the party is a time. And number two, when one event happens, it happens and it's a, a long action. And then suddenly, bam, something else happens. I was walking home when a car hit me. Okay, I was walking, 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 bam, a car hit me. So the walking is a condition. It's a condition or situation where a sudden action happens. I was sleeping when my friend called me. Sleeping, 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 bring up. Okay, so the sleeping is the condition and then the sudden action. Sleeping was sleeping in past progressive. Called is a sudden action and it's past. Okay, walking is a slow action. Hit is a sudden action. So it is past. Walking, slow, slow, walking, walking, walking. Bam. Okay, I was walking along for a long time and suddenly, bam, someone hit me. Okay, that is it. Yesterday, my friend Joe was walking home from work. A white Toyota hit him. Now he is in the hospital. Okay, now notice that we have two sentences. Yesterday, my friend Joe was walking home from work. Nope, let me go back. And then a white Toyota hit him. But these two have a connection. This is the long condition, and this is the short, sudden stop, okay? All right. So we can connect those two sentences with the word when or while. Yesterday, my friend Joe was walking home from work when a white Toyota hit him. Now he's in the hospital. So we can put the when like this, or we can just not put it and just leave it like this, okay? All right, that is the past progressive. Now, I wanna talk about words that never take ING. I uh, graded your papers from week two, and some of you did good and some of you did really bad, so let's look over this now. This is the paper I gave you, and we studied this, okay? Some words never take ING these words here on the left. 
And now these words here, sometimes they take ing on the right, and sometimes they don't take ing on the left. These same words here, think, have, taste, smell, see, feel, look, appear, way, be, they're over here and they have stars by them, okay? And these starred words can take ing or no ing. Now on the left side is no ing, and that is not active. On the right is ing, that is active. I want you to look at this with me and try to understand. Some of you did a bad job because you did not study this paper. This is the paper, and I want you to study this for your test. You have a test next week, and this is on your test. Let's read this carefully. I think he is a kind man. This think is believe, okay? It's like, I believe. It's not, it's not like, oh, I'm thinking, okay? It's just my belief. Boom. So it's not active. Now this one on the right, I am thinking about this grammar. Okay, you can see this woman here. She's thinking very hard and this is active. Uh, you actually use calories when you think actively. And so this is am thinking because it's an action. This is not an action. All right. Now we have Let me um, stop this just a minute. Okay, there, I fixed it. Now, next we have, he has a cat. Now, this uh, says kateru, but it's not really kateru. Kateru means to raise a cat, and it's active. That's a bad translation. Has means iru or aru, okay? I have a car. Watashi wa kuruma ga aru. I'm not holding it. I'm not doing anything, okay? That's what has is, and there's no ing because it's not active. I am having trouble. Now this uses ing, and you have to remember, you just have to remember, okay? Right here, having a good time. That always takes ing. Having a test, having trouble, having a picnic. Having a good time means enjoying myself. Oh, I'm doing, okay? It's not just sitting. It's an active thing. Having a test equals taking a test. Taking a test, it's active. Having trouble means experiencing trouble. Oh, I'm having so many troubles, and what do I do? And it's a considered an active thing. Having a picnic means doing a picnic. You have a picnic, you don't just sit, but you have it. So these are considered active things. So you remember, have a good time, have a test, have trouble, have a picnic. Uh, even, okay, one more, have a party. We are having a party. Those are active. Okay, now we have taste. This food tastes good. Now, this has no ing because it's not active. Kono uh, tabemono wa oishi. All right? Kodo wa arimasen. Look here. This is pizza. This pizza tastes good. The pizza is not doing any action. Do you see that pizza doing something? No. The pizza is doing nothing. So we don't put ing. That's not active. Now the next one is the chef is tasting the sauce. And we can see the chef is a man and tasting is very active, see? And so he's actively tasting. Now this is not active. That's the pizza's not doing anything. This is active. He's using his mouth and tongue. Okay, so we're saying ing. Now these flowers smell good. Again, the flowers don't do any action. There they are. The flowers are not doing any action, so no ing. Dawn is smelling the rose. Okay, he picks up the rose, he puts it to his nose. Okay, that's an action, so we're going to use ing. Okay, I see a butterfly. Now we can say look at, look at feels active, like this, okay? But see, I can just be doing this and it can just go by and I see it. 
C is considered in our mind not active. The doctor is seeing a patient. Now the doctor is looking at the patient, okay? Also, John is seeing Mary. That means dating, it is active. The cat's fur feels soft, okay? The, 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 the fur, the cat's fur, it feels soft. All right? the, the curved fur is doing nothing. Sue is feeling the cat's fur. Now Sue is feeling the cat's fur, okay? The fur feels, Sue is feeling. So the feeling is active. On our homework, it said John is feeling his arm. Can you see my picture? John is feeling his arm to see if it's injured. He was feeling like this, so it was ing. She looks cold. Uh, looks cold means I think she's cold, okay? She's not doing anything. I am looking out the window. There's look, okay, that's active. He appears to be asleep, okay? Nani nani yo ni mieru. That is no action. The actor is appearing. Stage ni agatteru, okay? Alawareru, agatteru, okay? That is active. The piano is heavy. It weighs a lot. The piano is doing no action. So there's no ING. The grocer. Grocer means uh, supermarket man. Supermarket man is weighing the banana. They can take the bananas and weigh them. Hakaru. All right? And that's active. Is weighing. And finally, I am hungry. No action. I'm just sitting, doing nothing, but I feel, I feel hungry. Tom is being foolish. Now here's Tom. You think Tom is foolish? Yeah. See, this is an action. Tom goes out, 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 out. He's going to fall. You're being foolish, Tom. Okay, so being foolish, being bad, being rude. Now on the homework, some of you said he is rude. Sometimes we can say he is rude, but in that homework, it was now. It was his action now. Now you are being rude. And so that's a little different feeling. Okay, uh, please study these for your test. It's going to be on your test. I hope you'll do well. All right, let's look at the next here. Okay, now we're going to study something new. And this will be on your test, but only a little bit. We don't have much time today to study this. So just a little will be on your test. Past tense. This is Kakoke. I worked in a factory last year. Now we're going to compare that to present perfect. Present perfect tense means genzai kanjo. No, no. Yes, yes. It's genzai kanjo ke. I'm sorry. Present perfect is genzai kanjo ke. I have worked in a factory. I have worked in a factory for many years. Now notice that uh, the past tense, this is a time word, last year. And the time is finished. That's very important. Past tense has the feeling of finished. And it's like telling a story. We can use time words like last year, yesterday, or three days ago. They're finished. Please remember that. Now, present perfect. Present perfect is also finished. It's past, but we don't think about the finished time. Let me show you. I have worked in a factory. Okay, I have worked in a factory. That's true. Danny has worked in a factory uh, long ago. Um, I didn't like it. Now, I have worked in a factory. I'm not telling you a story. I'm not thinking about a time. I'm not telling you the time. I just say I've worked in a factory, okay? I can say I have worked in a factory for many years. Now, this is a time word, but this time word is not finished. For many years means many, many years until now. 
and it feels like I'm still working, okay? It, from this sentence, I am working in the factory still, okay? That's what for many years now means. It means not finished. Okay, past tense. I went to Disneyland last week. Did you eat curry at Disneyland? Okay, now the first one, I went to Disneyland last week. Last week is your time. So we use the past tense, went. Now B, person B is thinking about this time last week in Disneyland. So he also uses past tense. Did you eat curry at Disneyland? All right. Okay, now this is present perfect tense. What is that? It's curry. Have you ever eaten curry? Oops, I've got a little grammar mistake. Let me, okay. Have you ever eaten curry? No, I haven't. Now, this have you ever eaten curry, what time is that? It's ever, okay? There's no finished time. Ever, ever, it, it means until now, continuing, and it doesn't feel finished. And so it's not past tense, it's not a story. And the answer, no, I haven't, because he's not talking about a finished time, okay? Now, have you ever eaten curry? Notice there are three different ways I can answer this. Yes, I have. Yes, I have eaten curry. Yes, I have eaten curry three times. Okay. Yes, I have for short. Yes, I've eaten curry. Yes, I've eaten curry three times. Now, three times, if it's one, if it's two times or three times or four times, we always say have, because that's not one certain time. It's, it's different times. It's not clear when. Okay. Are John and Jane married? Yes, they are married. Yes, they have been married for 20 years. Now, that 20 years is not finished. It means continuing until now, and they're still married. That's present perfect. Are John and Jane married? Yes, they're married. Yes, they've been married for 20 years. Yes, but they've only been married one hour. Okay, it's only one hour they've been married, but it continues until now. Yes, they've been married for a long time. All of these are not finished time. There you go, 20 years, one hour for a long time, not finished. Okay. Have you ever eaten curry? Yes, I have. Now, in conversation, you need to try to speak. If someone says, have you ever eaten curry? And you say, yes, I have. And you stop, that's terrible. You need to keep speaking to be interesting. So you want to tell a story. This is the time we use past tense. Watch this. Have you ever eaten curry? Yes, I have. Last week, I ate curry with my family. It was so hot, but I liked it. Now notice, have you ever? Yes, I have. Then I want to tell a story, so I use a time word. This is a finished time. Last week, and now I go to the past tense. I ate curry with my family. It was so hot, but I liked it. That's the way we move from present perfect questions into past tense stories, all right? It's a finished time word. All right. Now, I have some uh, work for you to do. I want you to study another paper, and this is a paper about past and present perfect. All right, let's watch this paper now. All right, we're gonna study this today, and then you're gonna do uh, some question and answer. Let's look, uh, right here. Finished and unfinished times and actions. Past, this means past tense. Past tense is used for finished times and finished actions. Our mind thinks of that day or time. For example, yesterday I went to Ogino. Okay, the time is finished and the action is finished, and I'm thinking of a story. 
I'm thinking, my mind travels to that time, okay? Present perfect. Present perfect is used one for many times. Have you ever? Yes, I have. I've done it three times. I've done it many times. That is not one certain time. And so we use present perfect. B, present perfect is also used for unfinished times. Okay, uh, for three years. If I say I have worked at AWA for three years, that means I'm not finished working. Three years, three years, three years, three years until now, and it continues, okay? Since 1994 means I'm not finished. Or lately, lately means saikin, imamade. Imamade no imi wa. So it's not a finished action. C, present perfect actions might be finished or they might not be finished. Okay, finished, I have bought a ticket, so I am ready for the movie. Now in this case, excuse me, in this case, uh, it's a finished action, but I did not tell you the time. I did not tell you a story. My mind did not think of that time. It's just a fact. Unfinished, I have worked at this company for three years and I still work there. This is unfinished, okay? So past tense and present perfect tense are both finished, okay, usually. Past tense is always finished. Yesterday I went to Ogino. Present perfect might be finished. I have gone to Ogino, but we don't tell the time. Or present perfect might not be finished. I have worked for 30 years. Okay, now let's look. Sometimes uh, looking at these special time words can help us. Past, that means at that time. In, when I tell the past tense, my mind travels to that time. At four o'clock, I took a bath. When I was in Tokyo, I saw Tokyo Tower. During the war, I was hurt. Okay, at four, when I was in Tokyo and during the war are finished times in the past. And so I'm gonna use the past tense. Now, present perfect uses words like ever. Ever means any time until now. It's not a finished time. Have you ever eaten? Since 1994 is not a finished time. It continues. During the last four weeks is not a finished time. So we use the present perfect. During the last four weeks, I have seen him three times. Lately is not finished. Lately, I have not eaten at a restaurant. That is true because of coronavirus. Lately, I have not eaten at a corona, uh, at a restaurant. Now, uh, words that use past or present perfect tenses. Here's some examples. Uh, past tense. When uses past tense. At, at three o'clock on, on Sunday. Notice that each of these uses the past tense. When I was in England, I saw it. At three o'clock, I came here. On Sunday, we went to Disneyland. So we use the past tense with these time words. Here's some more time words for past tense. In high school, I won the game. So in high school is a time, okay? Three days ago, Mikamae. Mikamae is finished. So we use the past tense. Three days ago it rained. Yesterday I fell down. Now here is the present perfect. It's any time before now. It's not clear when. Lately it hasn't rained much. Okay. Already. We have already finished the homework. Still. John still hasn't told me his phone. Whoops. Number, there you go. 
So these are not finished times. These still and already and lately. And so they're going to use the present perfect. Now here's a strange example of when we mix when, which usually takes the past, the past with when, okay? And ever, which usually takes the present perfect. Have you ever, okay? What happens when we put those two together? Look at the example. When you were a child, did you ever watch a scary movie? and then you could not sleep. Okay, this uses when and ever, but this is past tense. Why? Because it is a finished time when you were a child, all right? So please remember, when you were a child, did you ever? Yes, I did, okay? That's unusual. Almost always ever uses present perfect tense. Now, I want you to practice this at home. Uh, you choose either past tense or present perfect, okay? On Saturday, I ate, that's past tense, or I have eaten, that's present perfect tense. Which one is correct? On Saturday, I ate with pizza with chicken on it. On Saturday, I have eaten pizza with chicken on it. The correct answer is eight, because on Saturday is a finished time. And I'm telling, I, my mind goes back to that time. Now, try all of these after you study this information here. Try all of these, and then check the answers. Here are these answers, and I have explained why, okay? So study these, try, the questions, then check the answers, and study this for your test. You have a test. Okay. Now, finally, the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you a test study paper. I'm not going to spend much time, but you can study this to see what's on your test. Your test is next week. Okay, now for your test. <clears throat> We have this paper here today. It's called Day 5 Midterm Test Review 2020. You need to download that from Google Classroom. And this tells you what it will be on your test. First, uh, here, review for midterm test. First, we have vocabulary and about grammar. Subject, shugo, verb, doshi, object, mokoteki go. Verb, doshi, noun, meishi, adjective, keoshi, adverb, fukushi, preposition, zenchishi. All right, so for this, you need to practice uh, writing word, uh, writing these down. Here we have Tom Brown. That is a, a name, and it says names are put together by underline like mrs lee tom brown is a noun okay sleeps that's a verb now here we have noun is n verb is v okay here we have every that is an adj adj is adjective and day day is a noun so we put an n so you get on your paper and you practice the now the word the it says don't worry about the okay don't write anything for the wild wild is an adjective so we're going to write adj animals that's a noun so we're going to write an n okay and you continue writing for these all the way down practice okay uh, now write the letter, correct letter, V, N, A, D, J, A, D, V, prep over each word. It's the same thing. John is very happy. So you write N for John. That's a noun. V for is. It's a verb. A, D, V for very. That's an adverb. And A, D, J for happy. That's an adjective. Just practice these. Ask yourself, can I do this? 
uh, present progressive, please write two things that you are doing right now. What are you doing right now? Okay, your ikisiru is iki ima ikisteiru. Okay, how would you write that in English? Um, okay, here's Danny's. Now I am teaching my English one. A class okay that's true and it's me it's what I am doing now you cannot use this sentence because you're not doing this but you write your own sentence and on the test I will ask you to write sentences about what you are doing now all right you need to write one and two finish the story by using each writing each verb using present tense eats or present progressive tense is eating. All right, the rain has stopped and the temperature is slowly, okay? Uh, this is rain has stopped, okay? So now the temperature is slowly getting, all right? So you have to choose either present tense or present progressive tense. And I think present progressive is good here. It often become, now often means many times, that's not now, okay? So you have to choose present or present progressive. Write all of these, practice. Words that don't take ing. Um, let's see, example, Jim, the, the verb is see, Jim see Mary, but his mother doesn't like Mary. Okay, here we have is seeing. Now, see, when it means dating, we use it with an ing. Jim is dating Mary. Jim is seeing Mary, but his mother doesn't like Mary. Okay, now, no never takes ing. It's one of those words you have to know. So it's now, but we don't use ing. I know the answer. <coughs> Excuse me, just sneezing. I've got allergies. Kafun show. Run. Jim, run in a race now. Okay. So we're going to write that. Uh, probably that's going to be pro present progressive tense. Try to choose either present tense or present progressive tense and write them all here. Now here, write sentences using each word with present tense form. Now the word see can be used with present tense or present progressive. See with present tense just means to see with your eyes. Okay, um, I see a man standing on that building. Okay, that's a good example. Um, see, when it's see, it does not use ing, and that's what we want. We want present tense form, no ing. Do not copy my sentence. This is my sentence. Don't copy sentences from your grammar book or from the paper I gave you or from me. You need to make your own sentence. Smell. Now, smell can be active or not active. Active is ing. But this says write words using present tense form. That is not active. What kind of word, what kind of sentence can you write that's not ing with smell? You need to make one. Now, again, have. But this have, you're going to use with ing. So you need to write a sentence using have with ing. I showed you some of those special words that you can use with have and ing. And you need to look at that paper that I gave you. Smell. What kind of sentence can you write smell with ing? Is smelling. Okay, now let me erase that. We have make past tense questions from Danny's handout. That old woman hit me with her stick. Now we want to make a subject question. What is the subject of this sentence? The subject is that old woman. 
So we want to take that old woman and put it here and it becomes who, all right? Now we use the rest of the sentence. Who, excuse me, who hit me with her stick? Good. Now we've got the object and the object what? The object, the first object, there's two objects. There's this object, me, and this object, her stick. So let's do me here. Me becomes who, who did. Now remember, with an object question, we always use did for past tense, do for present tense, always. With a subject question, we don't use did. Who did? That old woman hit. Now we don't write me because me equals who. So we don't need me. Hit mm, with her stick. There you go. Good. Who did that old woman hit with her stick? Now remember, do not write me here. This is wrong because me equals who, so we don't write it. Okay, and continue practicing. This one is what. It's her stick is going to become what. All right, and more practice here. Now the present progressive, let me erase that. The, um, The water turned off when I was taking a shower. So you're going to use one past and one past progressive. Turned off is past and was taking is past progressive. And remember that when you have one long action and then a short action, the long action is the past progressive, ing, and the short action is the past tense. So while she was cooking dinner, cooking dinner, cooking dinner, cooking dinner, broke. Okay, the broke was very fast. So it's gonna be mom broke a bowl while she was cooking. So each of these, you're gonna do the long action uh, with ing and then the short action with regular past tense. Okay, practice that. Now, write a past tense story about your life. Use three sentences. At least one of those sentences should be a past progressive tense verb. Here, I'll make a sentence for myself. Uh, this is Danny's. Last week, I went to school. I was listening to the uh, um, internet radio when my friend called me. He said that he had to go to the hospital. Good. Now, I've got three sentences. One, one sentence here, two sentences here, three sentences here, all right? That's three sentences. Now, it says three sentences. At least one of those should be past progressive, okay? One of these past progressive. Here is my past progressive. I was listening, okay, when my friend called me. So I was listening is my past progressive. You've got one, two, three sentences. That'll get you 100% on your test. But do not copy Danny's sentences. You have to make your own sentences about your own life. Something that you did in the past. Please make your own story. Now this one is from the handout that we studied today. We studied this handout, day five, words that use present perfect tense. And you need to study that. These are the questions that you studied and you uh, practiced. And I hope you understood them. 
and I will take some of these questions or something a little bit like these questions and put them on the test. All right, uh, that is the midterm test review and I want you to study and do a good job. Next week we have the test. Uh, come to the computer at class time and be ready for a test. All right, we're finished. Uh, thank you, and everyone have a good week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.